are going live in three, two, one. I'm not going to talk about it. I don't, I don't want to get into anything personal with people in the sense that I just don't feel like, I just don't want to be telling the story just to everybody. You know, I, mean? I don't want to be spewing out all my personal details all the time. I don't want to get all Jerry Springer with it. You know, I'm just, I feel like I need to class it up a little bit at this point in my life, you know? I'm a mother for fuck's sake, right? <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna tell people that, that David and I ha um, have separated, and that's, and I'll leave it at that. I'm not gonna say anything else. Tour on with Mullins, Hera Hout, Indiana, she was born in the land of show me your tits t shirt sound, fields of corn. But mama named her Tammy like her favorite country star. And her daddy called her Lisa, same name as his first car. We are going live in three, two, one. When I was younger, I'm so confused. I don't know what is going on right now. I don't know. Are we doing so? We're not doing the, the, the babysitter fuck the husband sketch or what? We are doing it. It's back in. It's not because I'm, 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 I can't even follow. For, I, 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 I've been thinking a lot about um, how when I was uh, younger, I used to see women my age, and I, I'd see these women, uh, these middle aged ladies coming into stores, and they just immediately start like complaining about, like, your door sticks. Uh, don't put your tip jar there. Okay, you're welcome. You know? And these, these women, they're just like walking, I see them walking down the sidewalk. They're like, don't ride your bike that way. Zip up your backpack. Oh, you're welcome. You know, just telling everybody what to do. And, I, I, and then the other day, I realized, oh my God, I've become one of those women. I'm, I'm the woman at the four way stop now who's like, you know, you go, then you go, and then you go. No, no, and then you go. That's right. Okay, you're welcome. I suggested to David that we go swimming, and as soon as I mentioned it, he just starts flipping out. He was like, whoa, you get, that water's too cold. We'll dive in, and it'll just give you a heart attack. That, that guy, you'll just, your heart will explode from it. And, and, and then he was like, oh, and we don't know what's underneath the water. You know, people could be throwing in uh, lawnmowers or something. And, and then we dive in, and we cut our foot, and then we start bleeding to death, and there's no hospital for hundreds and hundreds of miles, and then we're just bleeding to death. And like, he kept going on and on about all these, these awful things that, you know, that could happen to us. So finally, I was like, you know what, I'm going in. In. And so I, I, I dive in and I, sw I swim out and oh my god, Ooh, that water felt incredible. And I, I look back to shore and David's coming in. He's coming in and he's got his tidy whities on and I thought, okay, you know what, he's scared but he's coming in anyway. Right? That seems, what else can you ask? And, and by the time we were watching these teenagers steal our clothes, I had fallen so in love with him. Old blonde bastard baby, laying in a garbage can. Got adopted by a ballerina, and a who's your business man? Eight long days, no hugs, no love, make a baby go insane. And on the ninth day, they scrubbed the crud off Tammy Lisa, gave her a brand new name. When I met Roman, I'll tell you what, I was coming out of two awful divorces. I had just been fired from the Grand Ole Opry for saying the C word on national television. <laughs> and not the C word you're thinking. I said cocksucker. <laughs> I was a couple hundred pounds overweight, just struggling. I thought no man would ever have me. I'll be honest with you, I really did. I thought nobody will ever love me. And then I met Roman. And he gave me the one thing I wanted more than anything in this world, and that is a family. That's the only thing I wanted to be a part of was a family. Because I really do believe that we're just a bunch of skeletons. 
walking around in our leotards of skin on this big old hunk of rock that Jesus made, just hurling through the blackness, <laughs> holding on to our skeleton clans, our families. And for that, I'm just so very... Hashtag grateful. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. Ladies and, and gentlemen, <clears throat> this is the hardest looking lady in showbiz right here. We got bear and in a fever. A little pepper sprout. We've been talking about Jackson ever since the fire went out. Oh, we're going to Jackson. Can I tell you something? Take it or leave it. Do you mind? Okay, I got a lot of senior citizen friends. What they do, if they got to put their medicine on, you take it and you put it on like a door jam, all right? And then you just go up to it and you're just like, yeah. yeah. Okay. If I end up putting fungus ointment on with a door jam, that is going to be maybe the most depressing divorce moment of my life, all right? Oh, yay, thanks so much. Your timing is incredible. Oh, man. I kept meaning to tell you this. Can I tell you this real quick? I, I, was, I, I want to tell you this, but you've been so busy, I don't want to bother you. But I, uh, you're all the people in your dream. I just want to get that out, because I don't know why I even... You're all the people in your dream. <laughs> One baby, two souls inside got invited to this party called life Where the parking shitty and valets closed for the night Oh, party gift is cancer and it's all gonna end So I say it's time we get busy getting us a little revenge They're gonna be sorry, they're gonna pay a price Get my lady pistol out my purse, 